Okay, welcome back. Sorry about the tech issues. I hope that we won't have any more tech issues, but chances are we will. So think of this as an adventure, you know, like how many live streamers do you know out there are working off of a five-year-old phone that constantly disconnects her and um, has a Wi-Fi set up in her apartment that runs off of a cell tower network and doesn't work on rainy days and um, you know, frequently makes you more sad than when you came here for. Um, all of that to say, we are very, very special. And um, I hope you enjoy our specialties. And um, cheers to a free Palestine in the new year. And cheers to continued tech issues because unless I'm like getting a proper live stream set up with like a fucking GoPro and a laptop set up to to, to mitigate that connection or whatever, I'm not buying a new cell phone to burn it out on live streams because I'm pretty sure that live streams burn out cell phones at a very, very fast rate since cell phones are not really designed to go live streaming um, at three hours a chunk. And I would rather buy technology that I don't have to replace because now that we know where the parts come from and what's involved in creating those parts and how much people suffer for it, you know, chances are we probably don't have as much of an appetite for buying new technologies. Right? Guys? Right? Um, happy early birthday. All right, first things first, we're gonna, we're gonna peel the carrots. soup is at a boil. We're going to turn that down. All right, yong tiao dough, we are doing two and a quarter cups of flour. So 260 grams. And currently no plans for the New Year's because I'm still sick. Right. Now we're going to do baking powder, baking soda, and give props to me for buying baking soda today, finally. Yay. We celebrate the little wins. used to be like two dollars a tin and now they're like five dollars a tin i don't know what's making baking powder that, that much more expensive than they used to be but if you're gonna be paying five bucks for baking powder you might as well buy some good baking powder you know um some worker owned baking powder i'm not sponsored by bob's red mill but i would be willing to bit 
yeast. I was um, going to put scallions in here, but I realized that the scallions kept falling out of the donuts and burning inside the frying oil, which meant that I had to change the frying oil way more frequently, um, which I'm late. I'm too lazy to do that. So. No scallions this round, but maybe in a future round. Yeah, these are leggings that I've worn for five days straight now. Really, really, really snazzy, stunning fashion today. Um, this is a Gap cashmere tank that my mom bought for me when I was in middle school. That was an extra large, and then I washed it like an idiot. I'm still an idiot. Um, and I shrunk, and now it's a normal size tank. But shout out to mom for buying me all the, all the extra large stuff that I still can continue to wear. It's amazing. I just added way too much liquid, so we're going to have to compensate with a little extra flour, I think. I went to um I went to Junction Boulevard today and I passed by all those, you know, like Banana Republic outlet stores and Gap Outlet and Old Navy outlet stores. And I walked in there and holy crap, y'all, have you noticed the decline in quality in those stores? Like I know that they're always kind of shitty fast fashion, but I don't remember the clothes looking that bad. They look horrible. The fabrics look thin like wrinkly even before they've been folded um the designs are awful nothing looks fitted or shapely um i don't know how we're just going to keep making things shittier uh it's very very sad to see None of the sales are good either. Even the clearance stuff isn't good. I don't know, man. I truly don't know anymore. I don't get it. Nothing makes sense. Yeah, and I know that outlet stores in general have lower quality, but I don't remember them being this low quality. I've definitely been to those stores before. They were not this bad. Um, Marshalls used to be mom's favorite. Skimflation, I like that. Sad but true, sad but true. I've never been to Ross. I don't really have many Rosses in the places that I've lived at. Um, I've seen them mostly in Manhattan for some reason. Not sure what that's about. Be running 
doing dishwasher tonight. I'm very excited about that too. Okay. Yes. Mom would be very sad to see the state of things, I'm sure. All right, now we can get to peeling carrots. And I'm thinking about roasting some of them, but maybe not all of them, but I'm not sure yet. So let's play it by ear. very much in my Asian mom era where I just don't even use cutting boards anymore. It feels very Asian mom of me to not use cutting boards. I don't know why. Maybe just my Asian mom doesn't. Maybe that's why she cut her hand all the time. Mmm, rutabaga mash sounds delicious. Um, constantly buffering. Who else? How's the quality? Is it potato today? Is it better potato? Creamy potato? Chunky potato? Fried, mashed? Hashed? smooth as butter quality. Fantastic. Um, tomorrow I'm hoping to go to the farmer's market after seeing grandma in the morning. Grandma, I was so close to taking her out for a walk today, but we got to get, we got to get um, four minutes of fresh air into her yesterday. Today, no luck. Tomorrow we'll try again, I suppose. The most enlightening part of taking care of grandma is seeing my future. Um, even in the photos that I take with her, my face is so much like hers. Kind of hate it, but there's nothing I can do about that. And uh, I especially hate thinking about how everything that I'm witnessing grandma do is probably somewhere within me too, genetically coded and epigenetically inherited. Um, but it's fascinating nonetheless. Farmers markets are becoming more and more of a good value because everything is increasing across the board in terms of price and so I feel like farmers market stuff um, a lot of the produce there definitely tastes better the ones that I can't taste the difference or doesn't directly deal with animal welfare I don't spend money on but like stuff like eggs I try not to buy really sad eggs anymore outside of you know if, you, if I ever have to do a budget video um, but even then I think I should probably move away from that and um, there are some farm stands that definitely have better tasting produce, beets, vegetables, leafy greens. I can especially taste the difference in flavor when it comes to leafy greens, for sure. Not always stuff like broccoli and cauliflower, maybe not even beets, but the beet greens, yes. I don't know what it is about the greens. Maybe they are influenced by the soil a lot more directly. I'm really not sure, but... You, you can taste a quality difference, I think. Um, these are dollar bag carrots, which is why I'm being very generous with trimming some of them off. Some of them have fairly questionable bits.
I can't have music in the background. They'll copyright me. And then, I mean, I can, I guess, if I get demonetized, like, if I'm willing to get demonetized, but then they might actually also ask me to remove my video. So, we can do live streams, we just can't record them anymore. Like, they won't be archived anymore. I'll just immediately take them off um, when they get flagged. If that's worth it for you, I'm down to do it. I would love to have music on. Are you kidding? Um, and to be able to, like, share with y'all what kind of music I'm into, or like or dislike, um, that would be fun. But yeah, copyright. Capitalism. Sucks. Pretty sure I can't play baby. Good idea, thank you. Carrot cheesecake? I wonder what that would taste like. Like a carrot cake? Cheesecake? Hmm, interesting. Interesting idea. I give myself so many interesting ideas. Although I'm pretty sure Delish has done that, probably for Easter, since carrot cake is huge for Easter. I could I could definitely recall something of that caliber. Don't mind me just talking to myself. Cuts and slices sounds like a torture chamber. Neighbors play music again though. Let's see if they blast it again. <sighs> Even if I don't get me demonetized, other people will. Okay, next, maybe we should make some cheesecake batter while I think about how to roast these carrots. Do I roast all of them? Maybe. Maybe. Thank you. I like the poster too. Great poster.
roast it with a little bit of onions. I bought a bag of onions today too. That could be yummy. is so shitty, I don't know why I use it. Okay. I can definitely see how she cut herself on this every single week. soup, right? I just remembered that I said I was going to do soup with it. Interesting. Totally forgot. Just remembered. Which means we should definitely roast some onions with it and roast some garlic cloves with it as well. done silent disco type things before on this channel. Um, it's just not as satisfying, but yeah, doable for sure. Hi Beijing, hope you're well too, thank you. You roast your onions with the peels on. Interesting. Then do you peel them off after?
single head of garlic was like 50 cents today. I didn't want to buy a whole sleeve, but a whole sleeve was probably the way to go. Peeled onion on a barbecue until it's black and peel off the burnt outside and you have amazing almost smoky soft onion inside. Interesting. Fascinating, fascinating. Continuing to learn from everyone. Green garlic, yum. That was sarcasm. I don't think green garlic is a good thing. milk, since I have milk, yes. Highly possible. Okay, I'm going to save like four cloves of garlic for another use. I think I want one more baby onion in here. goal today of doing laundry after this. Do you think I'm going to do it? Do I have faith in myself? I don't know. Okay. Do or do not, there is no try. Yes. Yes. Bake. 375. For veg. Hi, Boston. You're trying to motivate yourself to cook something. Whatever you feel like eating, girl. You're the one who's sick and hungry, so. What do you have? What do you have to eat? Um, I've tried to make hummus before. I don't actually think I've ever made good hummus, but mashed chickpeas, yes. Hummus, questionable.
something tells you that my hair is going to go even shorter, yeah, if we don't have a ceasefire soon, I might go fucking bonkers. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Worst things have happened. I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what the end game here is. Um, I don't think Israel's doing itself any favors right now. So, tourism has dropped immensely for them. Um, settlers have decreased. Yes, violence is escalating in the West Bank, but I feel like internationally speaking, their, their support is dropping. Um, so, IDK, and it's not going to look good for the U.S. either because we're dumb as fuck supporting Israel. with at least some of that. This board is now very oniony. We will not use it for the mangoes. Please remind me to not use this for the mangoes. Shaving the back of your head is really bothersome because you have to keep shaving it or it looks really funky um, and awkward or you have to grow it out. I don't know. love to dye my hair, but my hair is unfortunately very dye-proof. It's too dark. I would have to bleach it to get the color to stay and damages my hair immensely. It's just not worth it. All right, I think Paris is just done. Mushroom foraging? Yum! Jealous. I think I'm not like sick sick anymore, but I think I'm definitely having some sort of long COVID going on because this doesn't feel normal anymore. Just constantly tired and iffy. I mean, I'm still kind of nasally. I'm sure you can hear it. It's just not as bad.
Interesting. Bleach is not the only option. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. High with permanent color. I have no idea what that is. Um. Pear. Very soggy. We're going to transfer out this liquid and drink it. If anyone is asking me why so political, I think this is just the normal fabric of our lives. If you're not thinking about politics at this point of, you know, having access to data and news, then I definitely don't think you belong here. So you can find another channel to watch. Um, I definitely cook. So if you want to say it's a cooking channel, it is. But I don't think I have to only stick to that, right? Fascinating. I believe you've come to the wrong place to raise that fight. Um, actually, these pears are just pears, no sugar yet, but I think because all of the sugars have been cooked out at this stage that I'm going to probably place some sugar into this paste as we cook it down so that it doesn't end up just tasting like nothing. I'm also going to be adding in a tablespoon of butter. on the butter ad. Thank you for making my pear butter extra rich. I wish we didn't have to talk politics, but by not talking about politics, I immerse myself further into sadness, um, and I'd rather not. And we're gonna say it until we get shut down and then we'll find other places to say it. YouTube is not the end all be all. like information and misinformation and people has people have so much access to everything that they can really just choose their reality now so that's why me and my dad we can't talk about politics anymore because he and I really just don't we don't have the same sources for this shit anymore you know and um I get it but I'm also not going to tolerate it if you're going to bring it up then I'm going to respond Cough and sore throat. Uh, I like honey drinks. I like the Chinese cough syrup that I've been mentioning on a few lives now. Um, I like like 
orange marmalade sometimes on oatmeal. Something to coat my throat. Nothing harsh like toast. Everything mushy and sticky like oatmeal. Favorite crisps? Um, I like Takis guacamole. I like pita chips. I like any of the baked potato chips, like baked Lay's. I can eat that all day. I don't like kettle chips. They're too harsh on my upper palate gums. Um, Adrian, I've actually looked at the other side. In 2021, I posted a, um, I posted a photo on Instagram on my stories that of a of a poster that I found on a walk and it was partially ripped and it said from the river to the sea and at the time I had no idea about the history of Palestine at all. I was just going on one of my COVID era walks and I posted that as I post many things that I find in New York City. There's all sorts of random stickers and junk and detritus. And I thought, hmm, interesting, from the river to the sea, and it was like partially ripped, and the colors and the aesthetic was really interesting. So I posted it, and lo and behold, my DMs kind of blew up with people saying, wow, I thought you knew better than this, like, how could you? And I'm like, what did I just do? Like, literally, I don't know what I just did. I just posted a photo, people are incensed. And that's when I started the Q&A format on my Instagram stories of asking people like, yo, what's up with this issue? And both sides wrote in. I had both Zionists and both pro-Palestinian um, folks giving me their versions of what is right, right? And then I did some reading. And then I connected the dots. And um, I lost my mom. And I learned a lot of things in the past three years. And we've all learned a lot of things in the past three years. And I looked at both sides. I don't know which side you want me to look at, but I've looked at both sides as far as I know. And currently there's only one side that really makes sense um, in terms of supporting Israel, the state, or supporting Palestine, um, the state. And there's obviously nuances in terms of the other players that are funding Israel, like the US. Um, there's nuances about what the best ways to mitigate and to, you know, not participate in this and not perpetuate this. There's debate and nuances about can we actually affect change? I don't profess to have an answer to that, but I know as far as supporting Israel or supporting Palestine, there is only one right side for me. Um, whether or not I can affect a solution right now, I can't say. Um, I mean, I know I can't affect a solution right now. It's pretty obvious when you have millions of people showing up for Palestine and the US is still sending $130 million worth of weapons to Israel um, without going through Congress, that there's very little we can do as people right now to stop this. But there are things that we can do for the long term, not just for Palestine, but for all liberation movements, right? And that begins with education. So if you have sources that you want us to check out, let us know. Titles, sites, I don't know. But um, I don't want to have the other side over for dinner, actually, because the way that they show up in my DNs, the way they show up in my comments, all they do is throw toxicity and poison at me and degrade me as a person versus talking facts. So um, I, don't, I don't eat with people like that. Ooh, this is so 
good. This is so good. Holy shit, guys, this is like candy. There's obviously six pears in here, and this is the second round of cooking them down, but pear nectar. So good. I am left-handed, yes. Mmm, yum. I have Jewish friends who are anti-Zionists. You understand that there are Jews who don't look upon Israel versus Palestine in the same way, right? I hope. In the same way that I had Chinese parents who were racist, I also have Chinese friends who are not racist. I'm also trying to uneducate myself and unlearn a lot of my parents' cultural racism. Just because I'm Chinese doesn't mean that I'm eternally, you know, beholden to my, my parents' views. Um, doesn't mean that we're not capable of change. Doesn't mean that we're justified in using one political identity to commit this level of human rights violations and still have a morality to back them up. Um, I don't know how long the carrots will be in the oven for, but probably at least 25, 30 minutes. Also think about the fact that it's actually a lot of fundamental Christians in the U.S. supporting Israel, too. Please also look into the different political parties that have um, passed through Palestine since 1960s, 70s. Um, please look at how one of the leaders was assassinated when they were ready to sign a peace treaty. Israeli leader. An Israeli leader was killed by a oppositional Israeli party for signing a peace treaty. Um, let's dig beneath the surface of these identities. We use religion and other identities as a way to carry out atrocities. This has been the case since the Crusades, almost a millennium ago. Um, both sides are just too fanatical for me. Okay, well, I'm not going to continue this debate anymore. I'm really exhausted from talking this for two and a half months. If you don't really have education for us, then we can drop it. Um, and you can provide us with sources that you think are, are valuable for us to consider. Um, in there. They're barely cooking, y'all. Barely. Um, okay, I'm gonna grab my notebook where I jotted someone else's recipe for a cheesecake divided by a third.
already been going on for years. It's just not at this level. This level is uh, insane, is the only way that I can put it now. But it's been going on for years. The violence, state-sanctioned, civilian-executed violence has been going on for decades. Um, so that's why I said I'm curious to see what the end game is for Israel here. Um, I don't know how they expect to have a healthy country when they're literally bombing the shit out of everything and they're salinating the land. They're pumping seawater into the land. They're ruining the land. You don't care for a country by wrecking its, its infrastructure like this. Like, this is a genocide because they don't actually care about maintaining, preserving anything. It's about eliminating any source of life so that even if people don't die from bombing, don't die from disease right away, they will have no place else to return to once a ceasefire is in place. Um, I judge the state of Israel purely by how much destruction it's wrought. Um, and their PR is so bad. Their PR is so dumb. Eight ounces of cream cheese, a third of a cup of yogurt, one tablespoon cornstarch, one large egg, vanilla, and lemon juice. And yes, I will be licking the wrapper for this cream cheese. It will be my chef's treat. Thank you, Amy. I chopped it off. Ooh, okay, that was a plop. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm just gonna be so gross. Yum. I bought so many blocks of Philadelphia cream cheese it goes on sale for two for six or two for five, and I just grab it. I don't care for brand names much, but Philly cream cheese is the only cream cheese worth eating. If anybody else has a better cream cheese that you want me to try, please let me know, because Philly cream cheese... way less yogurt than I thought was left in there. Oops. This is my homemade yogurt, by the way. It's much thicker than the Phi-A stuff. It's going to be much more delicious, I think. going to add a little bit of icing sugar in there and I'm looking for cornstarch right yes wait did I not open a bag of cornstarch I feel like I did didn't I I didn't 
Interesting. I thought I did, but I didn't. Oh, I did. I did. I did. I did. Losing my brain. I've never made Turkish breakfast, so no, I've not made that. I want um orange zest in here. Sorry, it took me a while. I'm actually thinking about pouring a tablespoon of that pear juice into the cheesecake. don't recommend using Uber Eats. Um, there was a Canadian Palestinian restaurant who realized that they were being labeled as Israeli cuisine along with so many other Middle Eastern including Palestinian restaurants by Uber Eats as Israeli um, and Uber Eats tried to play it off like it was a tech issue but at that scale it was not a tech issue, so I really don't recommend supporting them at all. I would say just order your food directly from the restaurant. They take off so much fees from the restaurants when you order through those platforms. Um, they don't pay their workers well. Just, yeah, that's my two cents. Did I ever live in another city other than New York? I lived in Beijing, that's where I was born. I lived in Tokyo when I was three and four, I don't remember much of it. Um, I lived in Xi'an for a year after college. I went to college in Pennsylvania in a small town called Swarthmore for four years. Um, that's about it. I don't think I lived anywhere else. I've traveled to other places but not lived. When you're making cheesecake, you should always be whipping the cream cheese on its own before adding other shit. But I didn't. The only thing that I am holding off right now is the egg. So remind me to not forget that egg. Um, I'm going to use my immersion blender instead of my beater because I'm lazy and I don't want things splattering all over the place and immersion blenders are a little bit more controlled than beaters whipping everywhere. Sorry for the mess, y'all. My life is 
is just not in order right now. But onwards we go. I'm tamping down the powdered sugar first before turning the machine on so that nothing flies all over the place. Lobne style yogurt. You can also use sour cream sometimes. People use heavy cream. Um, there's both granulated raw sugar and icing sugar. There's a little bit of cornstarch in here. I'm not adding salt because cream cheese is already quite salty. And I have orange zest in here as well. Um, and a little bit of vanilla paste. And I will be adding in an egg once this is all combined. great and you could probably pour this into a crust but I don't have a crust so I'm just gonna bake it straight into a parchment lined bowl that's oven safe going on top so I think we're good you know what let's add in a little bit of this bear soup this is like gonna fuck up the entire recipe watch but worth it I think Addition of um, pear. Cornstarch will help it set a little bit more, I think. I'm not a fan of Bailey's and baked goods, I've discovered. A taste is too pronounced. I don't like that alcoholic taste. meal because I can cook it for as long as I want to like drive off that alcoholic flavor but when I can't control it as much very undesirable the alcohol that my friend gifted you the creamy one which one remind me Oh, that pear, that pear liquid. I can't taste the pear, but it somehow made the cream cheese sweetness more pronounced. That's so good. Highly recommend pear nectar in your cheesecake. Um, one egg going in. Oh, 
Oh, is that Holden, but under a different username? Welcome back, bud. Oh, Coquito. Homemade Coquito. top level of punning. Took us a while to figure that out. Mmm. Raw egg. Always good. I'm going to hold out Holden, I don't mean to break your heart, but like Netflix is like, I'm looking for S tier subscriptions. I'm looking for like at least an A tier, you know, HBO Max. Netflix is just so pedestrian. I would watch it for Love is Blind, but I can also just find Love is Blind elsewhere. But if I can find me a, a simp daddy who can give me HBO Max, I'm in. seen the movie salt burn but friends love it do you love it too all right I smell the carrots that means they're probably burning um, we're gonna turn the oven down to three actually let's turn it down to 325 okay let's take a look Mm-hmm, good. We're gonna give everything a little toss. Some of the onions are burning, but that just means flavor. We're good, no worries. bath now. We gotta see what fits. These are the two bowls that I want to bake my cheesecakes in. I've lined them with parchment, hopefully. 
mostly good to go. They might leak a little bit, but nothing is perfect. Yes, they are repurposed parchment. Um, let's see. What baking vessel? Sweet potato congee sounds delicious. Yes. Where is my 9 by 13 baking dish? Mm. Did I put you somewhere inaccessible? Like I sh probably did. Ay, 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 guys. Does that mean I'm going to have to use my baking sheet tray? Fascinating. Could have sworn I had a 9x13. I definitely do have a 9x13. Hmm. Well, first you have to live in New York City. Oh, found it to be my friend in real life. Because I'm waiting for Grandma to die and she's here. So I could do a base, but I don't want to. Precarious. We're working very precariously, y'all. I hope I got everything in because now we have to slide this into the oven. Okay, timer. Set it to 25 maybe? We'll see. Big Project done. You know, at any given moment on the internet, we all could be a serial killer. We just won't know until we know. Um, and that's a risk that we'll all have to put up with. And, you know, worse things have happened. The best scenario is we end up in a headline somewhere and become a story. That, that could be fun. Like, it would be really sad if you just got murdered and nobody knew. Um, and you think I'm joking, and I am. But all jokes have a root of truth in it. Watch any bad shows. Oh yeah, I've definitely watched bad shows and movies that I regret it, for sure. I'm gonna lick the batter now. I hope it bakes. I'm gonna be very sad if it doesn't. 
Next, we're going to wash kale. And then we're going to peel mangoes. And then we're going to make a mango puree, I guess. Very sad. Ooh, Kosh Cabal goat cheese is very salty. Did you like how salty it was? Not all goat cheese is that salty, but you definitely picked a very salty one. I hope you liked it. lives. Haven't gotten to it yet, but I do want to. All right, time to time to turn the donut dough. too soft but grandma will just have to put up with it I think I think baklava and cream cheese go together so well I just don't have any baklava but I have found a recipe for a baklava cheesecake. It looks brilliant. black-eyed peas today. I'm going to add in a little bit of flour. This is too loose. I don't feel good about it. There we go. That feels much better. Holden, who else do you sim for? I need to know. Who else is on your hit list?
Yeah, that's what they all say. Heard that before. much better gluten. Okay, so I'm not a perfectionist these days, but sometimes your gut is just like, girl, you need to go back and do that better because you're gonna hate yourself otherwise. And this was one of those moments where I was like, you're gonna hate yourself otherwise. of beauteous leaves. we had to strip so much kale because I worked at the frozen pizza division and we only made basically like three rotating pizzas one of which was kale some days we would just have to strip it for four hours and my hands would turn raw some people would wear gloves but sometimes the gloves snap back an urge to make black eyed peas for New Year's, you know? It's a tradition, not mine, but it is a southern one. Um, and I was like, okay, kale's on sale. Black eyed peas aren't, but I love them, so let's just buy them. Treat yourself, hashtag. And I bought some smoked ham hock too. things in kale sauce.
off the kale four times. It might seem excessive. That's what I'm going to do. Once you have greedy kale, you'll never want it again. So I'm going to chop up the kale stems and I'm going to microwave them and then I'm going to eat it with some leftover veggies and beans for dinner. Um, and our pear mush is coming along and I'm going to taste it right about now and it's very hot, yes indeed. Very hot. Mmm, buttery. Very good. I don't know, what do you guys think is the best way to woo me? So much grit right here. Be gone. Be gone.
and not be able to make food? What the fuck? In what world? I want someone to cook for me. <laughs> yeah, not getting offended by honesty is actually kind of difficult, y'all. But I have to work on my delivery. And it's something that I'm going to work on next year, I suppose. I've been a spoiled brat my whole life. Sometimes honesty needs to be worded more precisely. Absolutely not. I absolutely need my partner to be able to cook. It will be a great detriment if they don't know how to cook. Okay, I'm just going to salt it and pepper it and put a splash of water in it so that it steams a little bit. A lot of kale, y'all. Wow, there's so 
still so much grit. Yikes. The price tag of being with me is that I'm hella depressed, anxious, and negative. So. Another round, another round in the Mikey wave. It's almost 7 p.m. and I'm down to 34% battery. All right, crunch time, baby. Looks good. I think the carrot is quite tender, but not mushy yet. I hate how their cheesecakes look. Very sloshy. Definitely not ready. Do 15 more minutes for a total of 40. Uh -oh. What? Very hot. All right, let's eat some trash dinner, y'all.
Curing the pear. That's what we're doing now. Electricity bill for the last month during which I used no AC was like a full $18 more expensive than the months prior to that when I did use AC for like four days a month. I'm very puzzled. I'm very confounded. Give this pear butter a taste. So good. So sweet, so buttery, so nice, so smooth. Mmm. Almost tastes like a pear curd. Very mild. Very pure. Two tablespoons butter. Amazing. Yum. Do you, do you guys remember Cream Savers, the hard candy? There was like a strawberry flavored one and an orange flavored one and it was like a swirl of cream and fruit. This tastes like a pear Cream Savers. It's the best way I can describe it. Check out this consistency. I'm gonna have 
to drink more pear water just so I can make more buttery pear puree butter. Mmm, so good. I'm so excited. It's like east meets west. You get your pear liquid and your pear butter. The menu as a movie pissed me off so much. I use Bartlett. Obviously, the Chinese pears like Asian pears, they're crispier. That's more medicinal, but I just went with the cheapest pears around. Um, I like Bartlett because they turn really creamy. And I like Anjou for like a little bit of floral quality to them, but I like soapier pears because I find that they are so nice and floral and perfumed in desserts. To each their own. Many pears exist. They are all good. The menu as a movie was so obnoxious. It was trying to be satire, but it was so heavy handed and I don't know. It just pissed me off. Yeah, poached pears and red wine, absolutely classic, delicious, pro, very pro. Okay, I also think that Parasite was a fun and great movie, but I did not love it. I can understand the, the clout it had and the accolades too. It was just a very well done movie, but it felt more like a play. It's not my kind of movie for sure. I don't think it was a bad movie. I don't even think it was overrated, but it was just not a personal favorite. Lando's in Australia, the land of the angry overgrown rats. All right, we're gonna eat our kale with some bean salad. This has pickled beets in it, it has yogurt, it has black eyed peas, it has pickled onions. Um, I forget what else, but pretty, huh? Still mush, but beautiful mush. I think I need some MSG. Because beets and yogurt, I think, would do well with MSG. I'm also going to put in a little bit of powdered fennel. bit 
of our beautifully golden smoke and garlic. So we have red, yellow, green. All right, let's give this a mix and a taste. We were talking about Parasite, yeah, movies, overrated ones, or ones that we didn't like as much as the general public clout seemed to. Cheers. We need a little bit of chili crisp. Using Naoko's little cute cat spoon. I'm not forgetting about my laundry, but I just love to eat so much. I also want... some blue cheese on this guys originally I thought goat cheese but then I realized I have this boo cheese that's getting moldy from Whole Foods that cost me over $11 so you know let's get it This is Point Reyes Farmstead Original Blue Raw Milk aged 60 days or more. Treat yourself. That's probably $3 worth of cheese. All right. realize you were saying bye to us all right blue cheese pink beets green kale yellow smoke and herb seasoning clear msg we about to blow my blood pressure up worth it mmm mm-hmm You guys are gonna give me so much shit about this. I'm gonna put some toasted oats on this. The toasted oats have a nutty flavor almost, and they add a little bit of a crunch. All right, I'm ready. Blue cheese, beans, kale, oats, okay. Here we go, trash salad. Mmm. Love it.
I think the cheesecakes are pretty much done. We're gonna cancel. We're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes with the oven off. Ooh, we did it, y'all. Maybe tomorrow I can unmold one of the cheesecakes once they're set. Absolutely delighted with our performance today. I do have to label this pear butter. I hope everyone has a happy new year. If I don't see you tomorrow morning, then I'll see you in 2024. You should try and make pear butter. It's basically like applesauce, but pears. I guess the scrotum mangoes will have to wait until tomorrow. They're looking really bad. Like 80, 88 year old scrotums now, but we'll see if we can salvage them tomorrow. Peace, folks. Take care. See you when I see you.